Let's combine upper and lower body with a squat to uppercut. Now you can do this one side at a time, all of your reps on that side, and then switch to the other side, holding one dumbbell at a time, or you can do the same thing, but holding two dumbbells, or you can do this alternating sides in between each rep, holding a dumbbell or kettlebell on each shoulder. So pick what's gonna work for you. Just note that if you're doing, say, 10 reps each arm, 10 presses overhead each side, that's 20 squats. So be mindful that you're doing double the work for your lower body when you're selecting how much weight you're going to hold. Let's say I'm doing one side at a time. I'm gonna rack one weight up onto my shoulder. Again, I could have two weights, but just for the demonstration, one weight up onto your shoulder, and I will show you with the dumbbell in a second. Separate your feet about hip width apart or a little wider, toes pointing forward or slightly to the side. From here, sit your hips back into an imaginary chair behind you as you lower into your squat, lower to your personal squat depth, and then screw your feet into the floor to come up to standing. Here's where it gets interesting because now we're going to shift directions away from where we're holding the weight. So we'll shift and press the weight directly overhead. Now I'm shifting at a diagonal if you end up at an angle here, great. If you end up at an angle a little bit further, that's also fine, but we wanna be mindful of our body's alignment. Here's what we don't want. We do not wanna come up out of this squat and then to change directions, twist through our spine as we press overhead. We also, even more than that, don't want to combine that now with our knees not being aligned with our feet in the same direction as our toes, right? So instead of doing those things just to like crank over to the side, we're going to focus on an athletic stance, knees stay soft as we pivot on the balls of our feet with our heels being able to lift, okay? So we'll come up out of that squat. Now knees softly bent, we pivot to that angle as we press overhead, okay? I've now got knees aligned with toes. I've got this nice tall posture. Lower back is in neutral, not arching to help me lift higher up. And this is a strong stance that is safer for our body than if we are <laughs> twisting here like that, okay? So with weight, again, you can hold one side, hold one dumbbell or two. We're gonna lower down into the squat come up, pivot on our feet to press at an angle. Lower down, come back to center. Inhale, if we were alternating sides, we would now do that to the other side. 